Hello, Peter. Hi, Ben. Good to meet you. Good to meet you, too. So tell me about Camel and Energy. Uh, well, Camel and Energy, uh, our business is part of the Camel Group. And really, the, uh, our vision and purpose is to optimize critical infrastructures mm -hmm. around the world. So we, we uh, help our customers in the Camel and Energy business, I suppose, on the road to net zero. You know, help navigate right. the future, really. Uh, Excellent. In partnership with them. Fantastic. So I uh, understand that you, you came here to Seagray and you have some exciting things that you're presenting here. So tell me why you're here at Seagray. Well, Seagray is, you know, this conference is probably one of the most, is probably one of the premium events in the industry globally, really. And we're, we're obviously here to meet some of our key partners in Europe and also mm -hmm. across the globe. But really, what we're really showcasing are our technology will help our partners on their road to net zero, you know, as they're trying to navigate this, what is a complex industry and a changing industry. So it's an exciting time for the industry and it's an exciting time to be here. And we're obviously, we're launching lots of new things, Sapient and lots of new, new products. So speaking of Sapient, yeah. So Sapient Insight, uh, Asset Insights, I understand you rolled that out uh, earlier this year. Yeah. Uh, tell me, how is the market responding? Really, really well, Ben, actually. Um, well, Sapient Asset Insights um, in, in the U.S., as, as you mentioned, what we're really doing there is helping the, our U.S. customers see further into the future to allow them to predict what their assets are going to be, do, be doing in the future as they add more flexibility, you know, trying to get more out of the assets they have. And here, at, you know, in, we're taking that same message to our European customers and saying, listen, you know, this is what we've done in the U.S. The customers are responding really well. And the learning that we've taken from the U.S. and the U.K. actually, in, we're now taking that to our European base here. Fantastic. Uh, Fantastic. So uh, I understand that this platform uh, is, has evolved and is evolving. Can you yeah. tell me a little bit more about uh, your experience with the evolution of the platform? The, the thing about Sapient is that lots of customers, lots of partners have lots of bit, bits of data all over their, their network. They have online data, offline data, data stored right. everywhere. Mm -hmm. And what Sapient does, it allows the, our partners to have the data stored in one place or in an organized way that they can basically leverage to be able to predict and see further into the future. So it's a very, very powerful tool. Um, and we have the, to allow them to, to, to I suppose, have act, make actionable insights. Actionable insights, yeah. that's key. So it really is, you know, allowing people to make decisions about their future right. quickly. Not just data overload, no, actionable insights. Absolutely, because you know, the network is uh, full of data, full of sensors right, right. and so forth. So it's having to be able to pick out what to do next right. in, the, in the complex. Excellent. And you have a whole team here. I understand uh, Roland uh, Weir is here yeah, and, Roland Weir, and he yeah. can tell us a little more about perhaps the emerging market and, and how that's uh, yep. how that's looking, the trends. Come with me and I'll, I'll take you to it. Okay, very good. So Ben, this is Roland Weir. Roland, ben, nice to meet you. Meet you. Ben, thanks very much for your time. You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice okay. to meet you. So Peter mentioned uh, Sapient Asset Insights mm -hmm. and uh, said that you could give me an overview of the Camelot Energy platform and uh, solution. And lifecycle solution, yeah. So Camelot Energy have a long history, have a long history of innovating technologies for uh, sensing technologies around the various assets of mm -hmm. low voltage, high voltage assets. Um, introduce technologies like photoacoustics into the realm of transformer dissolved gas analysis as a, as a good example. Where we're going now is the, the industry, our customers, they're overwhelmed with data. There's data coming through every aspect of, Tons of, data. Of, of, their, of their working life at the moment. So Sapient Asset Insights is a platform we've created to allow, allow excuse me, not just the management of data, but you know, taking, making that data a valuable asset for our customers, predictive analytics to enable the management of their fleet, the management of risk within that fleet, and really taking the, hopefully the management of that data and the value of that data to the next level for them. Underpinning that, we've always had industry expertise, asset expertise, technology right. expertise, um, you'll meet our asset performance team a little bit later, I believe. Um, and 
what we've now effectively created, driven by, I suppose, market and customer demand is a, almost a holistic life cycle where we're engaging with our customers right from the design and manufacture of transformer assets through now to the sensing, monitoring technologies. Like factory acceptance tests oh, oh, all the way oh, to the end oh, of life. Effect, effectively. Okay. You know, and, and right into failure analysis with these customers as well. So that's what we're looking at is this, this life cycle approach with our customers as we, we get engaged right through the, the journey with them. Well, that sounds like a real customer centric approach. Can you tell me how, how do you implement that? So, you know, we, we, we've, we've had a, 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 a long journey in this industry and always, always based around a, a customer first approach. Mm -hmm. And that's, and that's allowed us to grow. Customers feel comfortable with us. They, they feel they can trust us. Mm -hmm. um, and we try to embed in our culture within, within Camel Energy around really three principles, I would say, of commitment, impact, and delivery with our customers. Um, commitment, the, impact, and delivery. Yeah. And, and, and in that, you know, the commitment aspect is we're, you know, we typically, our first position with customers is to look for a partnership, a long term, strategy with with our customers you know again that's about trusting each other you know that there's that it's the time in this industry is is a, a strange thing it moves very quickly and uh you know we, we we have to make sure customers understand that we're in it for the long run with them you know yeah. and, and under that impact principle you know, we also have a responsibility to improve our customers operations their 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 working the working day you know, so we have to make sure we're delivering value for them as part of that that work and uh uh, the delivery aspect, making sure ultimately we do what we say we're going to do, um, work to their schedules and excel at the delivery of the solutions for them. And, uh, and so far, we, you know, that's, that resonates with our customers and those principles. We try to make sure they underpin really everything we do at Camera. Excellent. So you actually have uh, skin in the game, as it were. You're actually following through and, and making sure that your customers are going to be successful. And that's, that's that a phrase moment. we would use, skin in the game. And that, that's part of that partnership principle okay. we, try to, we try to work to for sure. Fantastic. Can you tell me a little bit about the evolution uh, uh, as, as it relates to the market trends and the sapient acid insights. Yeah, well, you know, we, we have, at, at Camelon Energy, you know, we have, we have always succeeded by, by that type of relationship with our customers, mm -hmm. by definitely that we are learning the industry with, with, with our customers. And yeah, the, you know, the, we're, we're seeing the, the trends as, as a lot of people are, you know, in terms of the, you know, the, 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 the management of monstrous amounts of data now, making sure that that's adding value to, mm -hmm. to the operations, you know, we're, Part of that life cycle I talked about with the, you know, bringing expertise into Camlin to help support our customers now, even the the, the, polit the geopolitics, political landscape of the world, the supply chain management. So right. we're, as we talked about, even uh, factor acceptance testing and so on, we're really trying to put an umbrella of support around over these customers as much as, as much as we possibly can. Fantastic. That's great. Well, that sounds like a recipe for success. Fingers crossed. <laughs> right, right. So uh, I understand you have a demo here uh, of Sapien Acid Insights. We do. And uh, you have someone who is an expert that can Malcolm, show. Malcolm Fletcher, I believe, is, is that man is going to take you through it. Excellent. Let's uh, let's go talk to Malcolm. Sounds good. Ben, this is Malcolm Fletcher. Malcolm, Malcolm. pleasure. Hi there, Ben. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Pleasure. So I understand you're going to give me a demonstration of Sapien Acid Insight, the visualization. Okay, of sure. Yeah, yeah. I'd be happy to do that. That'd be yes. great. That'd be great. So uh, Sapien Asset Insights has a variety of different views. Uh, we can have a map view of our assets. Uh, we can have a tabular view, our asset explorer. And of course, we can have dashboards. Uh, this particular dashboard is oriented towards a uh, head of asset management that would be interested in their overall fleet health and condition, uh, split by region, uh, by manufacturer, by age. And, and that's one view that's fully flexible in order to set that dashboard up for whatever perspective you want. So this is want. the high-level view? A absolutely, okay. yes. Uh, we, we could set up dashboards uh, either individually, personal dashboards, uh, or global dashboards if you wanted to roll out across the organization. Okay. Um, we can even create subject matter expert views uh, oh, just so to detailed, focus on detailed, detailed okay. uh, assets that are of particular attention mm -hmm. and risk. Um, how we tend to navigate the system, uh, we have a, a, a tabular view of the data uh, and uh, that can be sorted and filtered in a variety of ways, fully flexible, uh, to, to identify, uh, again, assets of particular risk. Split so these are individual assets here? They are indeed, yes. So we, we have a, a number of assets in the system here. These, these are transformer assets. Okay. Again, we can create filter views of those assets for different perspectives. Uh, whether that's, again, from an asset management point of view or an operation and maintenance planning perspective, or indeed, as I mentioned earlier, if you're looking at critical assets from a subject matter expert point of view. 
So let me ask you a question then. So you have sensors on the system uh, that are pulling in data, but yep. if someone's doing maintenance and they see something, are they able to also add that data or other third-party testing information? We, we pull in complex data from a variety of online and offline sources. Oh, excellent. Wherever that data is available. Okay. It, it could be from uh, SCADA historian systems. Mm -hmm. It could be from online uh, DGA monitors. Uh, it, it could even be from operation and maintenance reports. So quite a variety of different sources that we are combining in order to drive practical insights on those assets. Okay, and when you pull all that information in, uh, do you have experts or people to help figure out how to weight that information? Well, I, I, absolutely. Okay. Uh, we have a team of asset performance uh, experts who okay. really are the brains behind this. This is real uh, expert-led uh, data decision-making. Uh, we also have a team of data scientists who oh, okay. interpret and understand uh, our, what our experts are looking for and uh, codify that into the application we see today. Wow. Uh, and That's this great. is continuing to evolve and build out. So. It really is. It's a powerful uh, tool with a lot of intelligence inbuilt. I've been talking to leaders uh, at the conference here. Okay. And that's a reoccurring theme is the, the loss of expertise, the gray hair in the industry. So uh, that sounds like a real way to help the industry. Yep. And, and we have a lot of young folks who are very excited to be, participate. Uh, and this seems like a great tool to bring that experience and the uh, passion that some of the younger team players might have to solve these industry challenges. Uh, absolutely. And uh, in terms of the operation of the fleet, it gives that uh, longer term investment planning approach, mm. whether to continue to run assets, whether to refurbish them or mm. whether they need to be replaced. Uh, and, and that uh, ability to defer the replacement decision until mm. later to, to sail close to the wind with these assets with additional certainty mm. is invaluable. Thank you. Well, that was a really great overview uh, and demo. I really appreciate it, Malcolm. And I Pleasure. understand you have a technical expert here that's going to tell me a little bit about uh, services. Uh, uh, absolutely. Is that uh, Marco? Tosi? Yes, uh, Dr. Marco Totsi, one of my colleagues. Uh, yeah. he's, uh, he's one of the experts okay. that's driven the development and of this here. software. He's here. Yes, I'd love, okay. to, I'd love to introduce you. That would be great. Okay. Uh, hi, Marco. Hey, Marco. I'd like to introduce you to Ben. Hey, Ben. Nice to see you. Marco, good to see you again. It's hey, been a long time. Yeah, sure. A lot's happened since we've last talked, and I understand you have some great insights into the integrated approach of Sapient Asset Insights, as well as the software, the sensors, and technical services. Is that right? Correct. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So to understand this integrated approach of Sapient, we have to understand the context. Mm. And the context is that there is, in the market, a demand for more power. Mm. and new transformers and, uh, you know, the electrical vehicles and the new solar and wind farms and so on. So demand for power, but in an aged infrastructure. Right. And at the same time, if you want to put a backup, a spare transformer, if you want to get a new transformer, the lead time can go up to five years now. Five years right. now. Wow. So customers have to select also alternative solutions and need assistance. But when you have to manage the risk, of failure of a transformer mm -hmm. is not just when the transformer is at the end of the life. You have to manage the risk from the very beginning. Begin with the end in mind. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So you have to start, for example, from the specifications. Mm. So with our team, the asset performance team, mm -hmm. we start from the very beginning, reviewing the specifications of the customer, doing factory audit. So we assist the customer. We go to the factory together mm -hmm. to check the capabilities of the factory to manufacture the transformer. Okay? okay. And this is the first step in our life cycle program for services. Okay. The second step is the design. Mm -hmm. So we can do the full design review, mechanical, thermal, and, uh, and uh, the dielectric design review for the transformer to make sure that uh, it is designed in the proper way. Okay. Then comes to the testing in the factory mm. and in the site. We can support with uh, witnessing the factory and site acceptance testing. Okay. And then we end up to go in the field. And this is where the monitors enter in the game. I see. Because when the transformer is in the field, is uh, you know affected by loading conditions, uh, uh, temperatures, uh, harmonics, uh, voltage transients, uh, true faults. True faults is the first cause of failure of transformers. You know, transformers fail because of outside events. Ah, right? right, right. So this is where the monitors 
enter in the game and play a critical that, role. Those transient activities. Exactly. Service, in monitoring yeah. the transformer. Mm. Okay. And then if you want to have a wide view of your fleet and understand how to prioritize your actions and so on, then comes the software of the sapient. Uh -huh. So this is the towards the, the, let's say, during the life and towards the end of the life, monitors, softwares, and service are combined all together to make sure the transformer yeah. goes up to the end of the life in good condition. Sure. Actually, you can extend the life. You, you can, you know, you can have transformers staying in service 60 years with no issue. Yeah. So this is where the integrated approach really works together when the transformers goes in the field. That really makes sense to me. So it sounds like we're taking all of that experience and assessment that you've done on age, aging systems and what you've learned and trying to bring that to the beginning of life, but helping customers succeed right from the beginning. Correct. That's excellent. Correct. Um, and it's, I've heard many times uh, thought leaders in, the, in this, we're here at Seagray, uh, mentioning the challenge of taking that experience and bringing, we have a lot of young people coming Correct. into the industry, very passionate yeah. about renewable energy and sustainable power and uh, making a real difference in a, an, in a, an industry that's critical uh, to, to life these Absolutely. days. Um, but how do we bring that experience and the knowledge? And it sounds like your approach, that customer-centric approach, is really creating that opportunity and environment where that where you can succeed, where the customers can yeah. succeed. Yeah. Fantastic. First of all, we establish, uh, we try to establish a partnership, a trust, mm. trusted-based partnership with the customer, trust so we can mm. exchange uh, ideas, opinions, data, mm. and so on. And then we have, we, we are lucky, of course, to have the Camlin support because we have data scientists working closely to us. Mm. So every time we see something in our reports, in our assessment and so right. on, we immediately translate this in algorithms that go to the data scientists. I see. Okay. So typically, you know, software companies uh, just working on data and so on, they don't have the expertise on the design of the transformer. Mm. So they use the customer expertise, but yeah. customer have no time to teach what a transformer is, right? Right. So we right. come already with a good level of knowledge of the, the topic of the transformer, the design, the failure modes, and so on, and the software. So Excellent. at the end, the missing work is just a fine tuning. No? Right. And then as far as actionable, uh, you know, if there's a scenario where the customer has an alarm or has some data that they're unsure about, can tell me more about your technical services yes. and, and how that plays into Yes, uh, this is quite uh, becoming more and more usual now. Okay. Together with the monitors, getting the support for three, five years of services, mm. together with the monitor, okay. to make sure that alarms are under control. Because every transformer is different. You can set the same alarms for every transformer. Mm. Okay. Right. So we provide a online periodic supervision service so we review the data every you know six months sometimes every week with some customers every week wow we okay. review the data fantastic and and they don't need to care about you know the monitor itself they don't have to monitor the monitor or care about the monitor sure they just get the final data and actions Excellent. and this makes you know uh, they we optimize their time first of all Right. Right. It's it doesn't make sense to have a pile of data uh, and not sure what to do with or many alarms and not sure what to do with that. So panic, no? Right, right. So that yeah. sounds like a very important and key role yeah. to make sure that your customers Correct. are successful. Correct. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. That's um it sounds like a really great integrated approach and a success a recipe for success. Yeah, we see this is what is really being requested more and more, you know. So there's a sensors, software, and services. Now yeah. these three three things together uh, uh, help us, can have really help customers. Yeah. Actually, and, I, and I've heard it right from this, your uh, CEO, uh, Peter, all the way down to Roland and Malcolm. It sounds like you have a great team put together that has the same vision. And uh, you're here at Seagray and able to show the industry what you have yeah. and, and really make a difference. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Marco, it's been a pleasure. Thank yeah, you for the update. My pleasure. Really. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Really. Thanks.